Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 Mini NVIDIA graphics card. As the name already tells, this is the mini version of Gigabyte's GTX 970 card. This card currently costs about 380 US dollars and today we'll see how well this GPU actually does for its price. A huge huge thank you to Stefan Müller for lending me his GTX 970 to review. He has already sent me a Club 3D, our 9270 in the past and this time he also was so amazingly kind to include money to send the card back to him. That's really really kind and supportive of you. Another thing I just have to show you is the little gift he sent me. I don't know how to exactly call that but it's out of stainless steel and very well made as you can see. Very precisely and the edges are beautifully brushed or however you'd call that. The subject here is Werner Brezel from the Werner Comics and Films. And get this, this is self-made by Stefan. Very talented indeed. Thank you, I love it. Alright, but now let's focus on the graphics card. In the box, of course, as you'd expect, is the graphics card itself, the quick start guide with the driver CD, and last but not least, a dual Molex to PCIe 8-pin adapter for older power supplies. The Gigabyte GTX 970 Mini has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 video memory, makes use of the powerful GM204 GPU by Nvidia, has a core clock of 1076 megahertz, a boost clock of 1216 megahertz, and a memory clock of 1750 megahertz. The TDP is quite low with just 145 watts, and the GPU is manufactured on the 28 nanometer process. The GTX 970 has a bus width of 256 bit and supports the new DirectX 12 API. The first thing you probably want to know right now is how long this graphics card is, right? Well, it's only 17 centimeters long, which is perfect for mini ITX builds. Pretty much any case will do for this card. Of course, because this card is so short, cooling performance indeed has to be sacrificed. The standard version of Gigabyte's GTX 970 pretty much is twice as long and therefore there's much more cooling surface and besides, the standard version comes with three fans, while this mini version only comes with one. The shroud here is out of plastic, which is a bit disappointing to me at this high price point, but it's not that bad since it somewhat feels sturdy. Gigabyte, as you can see, used all the available space in the card for the aluminum heatsink with three copper heat pipes that make contact with the GPU. To power this card up, a single PCIe 8-pin power connector is required, which really isn't much at all. Looks like it's an efficient GPU. We'll get to that a little bit later in the power consumption test. We have two SLI connectors here. You can run up to a three-way SLI configuration with this GTX 970. A beautiful black PCB is used here and such always make graphics cards look better, at least to me. As for the outputs, there are two DVI outputs, one HDMI and three DisplayPort outputs. In terms of aesthetics, if that matters, I honestly prefer longer cards, but for a short one, not bad looking. It's also quite heavy due to the good amount of aluminum that's on here. But now let's jump into the benchmarks.
The Gigabyte GTX 970 Mini has really good performance to offer. To make it short, it pretty much is as good as my Gigabyte GTX 780. Sometimes it's a little worse, and then again a little better. The new Nvidia GPUs don't seem to shine in the synthetic benchmarks that much anymore compared to their previous generation of GPUs. However, in practical tests, and I'm speaking of games here, the new GPUs show more power, including this GTX 970. Although this card is so short in length, the cooling performance is still very impressive. On 100% load, this card only maxes out at 56 degrees Celsius. That of course means Nvidia's GTX 970 runs super cool. But these good temperature results weren't achieved with the fan running on full blast. Actually, I couldn't hear the card in my system, it was that silent. The power consumption is also very impressive, and I've said the same thing in my GTX 980 review already. The GTX 970 consumes less power than the GTX 770 while offering unbelievably more performance. Still in terms of overall efficiency for the performance, the GTX 980 takes the crown. But 267 watts on full load with the GTX 970 is absolutely impressive. The price performance ratio currently is very good on this GTX 970 and gaming on maxed out settings, at least at 1080p, works like a charm. So for people that need a shorter but still a powerful graphics card, this Gigabyte GTX 970 Mini is a very good choice indeed. I'd definitely recommend this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 Mini graphics card. Once again, thank you so so much Stefan Müller for lending me your card and therefore making this review possible. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit niklas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.